stomach churns around and around. The bile within is unsettled. Each moment brings a new surge. Your companions sleep like blissful lumps of meat. He is so afraid. So, so afraid of everyone. Besides you, who he ought to fear most. You could do so much better, my lord. Harming me will not aid him in the slightest. Nothing will at this point. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. Sweet words were said in the hope of lying with him. <laughs> A fine performance, oh, my itching liege. <laughs> you like him for more than his looks, but he will never believe that. Why not make him a pretty corpse? <laughs> It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little Moon Maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet lord. Your companion rests blissfully, without a fear in the world. As your hand approaches his body, it wavers. It longs to close around his throat. Looking for a cuddle. Although, you don't look entirely yourself. What's going on in that head of yours? All right. Talk quickly then. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. rather be the only dark power inside your body, if it's all the same to you. You're welcome to try and kill me, of course, but I don't die easily these days. You could have talked to me before things got murderously bad, you know. We are technically in this together. It certainly puts the death of dear, sweet Alfira into some perspective. Suddenly, you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile, and you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. This thing won't have you. It won't win. Ah, 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 we ask before we bite. You're cute, you know. In another life, we might have been friends. 
Your hands are raw and bloody as every inkling of your urge yearns you to tear your bindings. Easy now, darling. You've got this. And I've got you. Growl all you want. It won't stop the dawn. This will be over soon. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. You once again inhabit your own mind. I felt for the bard, seeing you like that. Poor Alfira never stood a chance, did you? Now that you're back with us, we need to have a talk. You're not alone in this. None of us are. We can even compare notes if you like. I don't hate you, because this is not you. But whatever this is, you will get through it. And I'll be here to make sure you do. Anyway, it's a brand new day. I'm sure we'll find lots of people for you to kill. Let me out, let me out, let me out! Swift as my feet can carry me. Good morning. I thank you for not killing me the other night. Are you all right now, or is today a I will wed you with a delicate veil of blood blooming over your white curls kind of day? Excellent. You will let me know the next time you need to be tied up, won't you?